role of ICT or information communication technology for efficient water management is a very very relevant topic for managing water resources. Now if you recall that in the previous uh, earlier lecture we discussed about the role of information communication technology for another important natural resource soil management. Now let us see that how again ICT can be used for efficient water management. We all know that water management is very very important for not only agricultural productivity, food productions, industry, any kind of any kind of development activity water is required. So, at the same time we also know that water is becoming many parts of the world as a scarce commodity. So, that demands or warrants an efficient management of water resources. If you look at that uh, water scarcity affects more than 40 percent of our global population and water related disasters account for 70 percent of all deaths related to natural disasters. So, this is clearly shows that how much important is is to manage water in appropriate manner. And here ICT is one options for us which can help us for protecting managing water quality, water quantity, enabling water you know, availability prediction and also maintaining aquatic biodiversity. It can also help us in assessing water supply adequacy, modeling different supply and technology alternatives, factor in different uses technologies, many many way ICT can help actually for water management. Now, we also know we have seen that how GIS can be helpful. So, I am not going to repeat that in case of soil same way for water. Now, the, the incorporation of different ICT tool in water management sector is very critical because it can then mitigate some of the existing and future water issues. ICT provides an opportunity as a tool or agent of change and also an alternative method to manage this very very precious resource natural resource water. Now, if you look at, at the water management sector has you know have different challenges over the last few decades not only for scientists researchers, but for policy makers, technocrats, extension professionals, water users, farmers anyone whoever is actually involved with this particular sector. Now, what are the issues where ICT can play an important role for efficient water management? First, water availability. It can actually help us, it can actually inform us well in advance for a particular area whether there will be water available for certain activity. And if that information is available to various you know stakeholders, they can actually plan a contingency plan how to prepare if there, there is no water available in the upcoming season. River pollution that also can be you know uh, studied through ICT. Water conflicts, groundwater pollution, water conflicts means basically share of water resources. Okay? And we know that whenever you talk about that you know few cases comes in and Kaviri water is one of them which we often saw in media. Then crumbling of inadequate infrastructures which are related with water management, okay? maybe dam, any cut, something, canal, inadequate storage capacity is a major issues. There are various areas in our country where there are plenty of rainfall, but there is a major issue with storing that extra water for next season the dry season. Aquifer depletion also can be studied poor water use efficiency and then your ever growing water demand. So, these are very very critical aspects which can be uh, studied efficiently managed efficiently to the help of ICT because it provides an unique opportunity to the stakeholders whoever is involved in water management processes. Because ICT helps them to get the information about a 
uh, various physical, environmental, chemical, biological, all this information. And ICT also provides benefits in water management processes like it provides real time monitoring and control at wide scale. You can actually capture at one point of time a very, very large area. Suppose I give an example, in northeast Brahmaputra comes from you know very, very far away towards you know China that side Tibet and from there then it comes through Arunachal and then enters into India and then it goes towards Bangladesh. So, such a huge area. Now, information communication technology through remote sensing application of various other tools help you, allow you to capture or allow you to monitor in real time of that kind of huge scale. Then comes integrated management and decision support based on data collections and aggregation. It also empowers users with real time information so that you can generate awareness among people about the you know resource crunch scarcity of water. Then it helps to develop water smart meters and ICT tools can support any kind of leak detection. Suppose you are supplying from this water tank through pipe far away somewhere in a uh, you know a village. So, if there is any kind of leakage ICT can also help you. There are certain way to do that automatic meter reading through communication network. Now, these are certain smart technologies which uh, already in few countries people are using it and they allow you actually real time monitoring of the water management system. Now, mapping of water resources and weather forecasting is one of the uh, very known uses of ICT and for that we have already discussed we use various kind of technology remote sensing based GIS sensor networks etcetera. Then asset management for the water distribution network a very very important aspect. So, here also ICT can help you to identify the appropriate manner in which you can actually maintain the assets which are required for water distribution network like smart pipes from 50, 50 to 100 kilometer also sometime pipe can be connected from the source to the delivery point. Setting up early warning systems for meeting water demand. Suppose in one area if you know that in dry season there will be scarcity of water. So, you can have a contingency plan for that if you get that information well ahead of that particular dry season approaching in that area. So, these are uh, various uh, aspects for which you can get early warning through ICT. In time crop irrigation, this is becoming very, very important these days. Days are gone when we used to start our pump and leave the field irrigated and farmers will go you know somewhere for some other activities maybe in other corner of the field and then come back by that time so much of water gone you know somewhere else. So, today it is important that you irrigate your crop exactly when it is needed and for that we have already discussed in remote sensing some application of GIS information system, sensor based network, internet. In fact, these days artificial intelligence machine uh, learning also is being applied for coming out with some smart early warning system. DSS decision support system, these are actually built or intended to assist to make strategic and rational decisions. Decision support system is a combination of various tool and a properly designed DSS could be very effective software based system which can help decision makers compiling various useful information from raw data, document them, store them, analyze them later, identify the problem and then finally make a decision. So, a decision support system helps the structural decision making process and 
it supports the analysis of complex situations all right so these days dss are very very important for you know not only water management but for entire you know natural resource management so this is just an example that how decision support system functions decision support system will have description suppose one area that basin description then you can have modeling and settings of various scenarios and then finally information and results these three main working platform so the first thing is description of the area where you collect special data and then the data which you are needed to run hydrological model means water different water model from these two the information or the the exercise that you carry out in the hydrological model and from hydrological model then some information comes out here as outcome model and from outcome model you finally comes out to results raw results or some indicators and these indicators basically with the help of various water management modules gives you a decision package all together this system is called as decision support system so this is the simplest flow of decision support system which can work for water or also for soil or plant gis in watershed management i think we have discussed it earlier quite a lot but just to reinstate that that ict plays an important role in watershed management as well to assess various watershed characteristics their what resources they have within a watershed the quantity of the resources available then it helps you know in management and planning of the watershed then restoration of various resources analysis of alternative management strategies analysis of watershed policy and decision support finally now the third one is you know meters and sensors again we have discussed about that in case of soil also how you know meters and sensors can help you but these days again a lot of sensors are used for uh, specially avoiding any kind of damages in the water supply you know channel water supply pipe because that is one thing which actually we can avoid with the help of this technology you are thinking that from 5 km distance a precious water you are sending to another village where they are actually dying you know out of water and between the source and that village the pipe if it leaks then the precious water resources is lost and if you don't know hours together days together so out of 100% probably 30% will reach there in the target village so ict can help you actually to find out the leakage of of water in the transmitting channels so with the help of different kind of flow sensors pressure management sensors energy consumption sensors supervisory control or data acquisitions water quality sensors water consumption meter these are various you know small small tools that actually helps to find out the leakage in the water transferring system or module so in case of scada technologies for supervisory control or data acquisitions there are various things are involved especially just to give an idea you need a kind of a computation system you need good quality of data and then processing then if your data quality is good then certainly the analysis also will be good and finally you can actually provide a better solutions or better uh, what you call early warning information to the management team so sometime the remote terminal units or programmable logic controllers like plcs the which interface with the uh, sensor which actually sensing that if there is any kind of water leakage some or water loss is getting and then the information actually goes to the computer in the hub where people are sitting to analyze those information so after all these all these technology helps you to maintain the water resources hydraulic models we talked about little bit in modeling sections basically it helps us to understand you know different hydrological processes and thus 
the availability of water into the system and uh, different organizations works with different models, different kind of simulation, optimization products to come out with uh, a better water management system. So, basically they look at how to minimize the water loss and how to increase the effective water management strategies. So, hydraulic models uh, basically help water resource professionals or companies, universities, organizations, local bodies to effectively manage, predict and make proper decision on the available water resources. Then comes water supply, irrigation design and management, another very, very important aspect. So, here also ICT tools uh, can help actually to synchronize the water supply with demand. It can also regulate pump operation to save energy, manage in withdrawal of water from different sources or reservoirs, control the purification process in sewage recovery structures. These are various activities that again ICT can play a very important role in managing water resources. Urban water management, a very, very important you know topic and uh, all of you are aware of that, um, that managing water resources in a what you call sustainable manner in an urban ecosystem is a big challenge for, for authorities, whoever is responsible for uh, water management. So, here ICT can help you in real time monitoring water efficiency, energy efficiency, asset management, field work management and uh, also how that uh, future cities actually should be built considering the best water management strategies in hand. So, these are all planning that helps you to build smart cities where you utilize every drop of water very, very carefully. And if you recall that in one of the earlier uh, lectures, I mentioned about various types of new farming type also coming up. In urban area, people are now uh, you know coming up with vertical farming in a building itself. So, because the available land area, if you look at in any urban area is very less almost 35 to 40 percent of the space that is available is on the building itself. So, that is why many, many countries are now coming with uh, various new innovative kind of farming system where water can be utilized in a very, very appropriate manner. So, ICT can also play a very, very important role. Now, its role in uh, you know future strategy and planning for future smart cities or smart villages is enormous. So, several future trends of great importance can be actually handled by information communication technology and it can play a big role in blending different perspectives. Now, if you look at a very strong network of information system for water and soil management at national, state and even district level is possible to establish with the help of ICT. Then you look at pluralistic partnership between public, private, non-government organization, water users at the ground level, all of them can be brought together and can work for one single goal and they are also ICT can play important role. Capacity building of different stakeholder training awareness. One person who is expert did not to go to the village. Today, with the help of ICT, you can connect to the people to any part of the country or even outside the country. Designing of different ICT based modules, DSS decision support system, expert system for at water application methods is very much feasible today. Increasing water use efficiency is always a challenge in the field of agriculture and ICT again can play important role. ICT enabled soil and water management system is a new buzz actually. People are talking about that and some good work is already happening in the country. More need to happen because the power of ICT must be utilized for managing 
resources, critical resources like soil and water. Increased web based storage of relevant information that we gather during this entire exercise with the help of ICT is another part that it play very, very effectively. Increased custom made quality management information services etc can be provided generated provided with the help of ICT. So, you see that the future management system of resources like soil and water can be carried out quite efficiently with appropriate use of information communication technology. Mm -hmm.